the title of it is Black Men Got Something to Say. Because so far, for so often what's happened is we've been talked about, we've been talked to, but nobody's actually listened to things that are of concern for us. So what we did was we went across the state of Georgia to provide a forum for black men to be able to voice their concerns. Violence, um, crime is a big issue, safety, um, and, and how that's going to be addressed. Another, another thing that we're hearing quite often is the amount of money that goes into programming that you know is to put into place for those different things that they talk about never actually gets to the organizations that can do something about it. There's not enough focus on the black father. Um, in my personal opinion, you know, if we were talking about politics, every study is kind of flawed. Um, there's a difference between a white man and a white father. There's a difference between a black father and a black man. And right now, when it comes to politics, there's not enough focus on fathers all around. As a father, a full custody dad, um, image is everything. What your kids hear and see determines what they decide in life. And there's nothing but yelling and screaming. Trump did not give people a chance. Either you do it this way or the highway. And what did it for me is the very first day he stepped in office. There was 10,000 people outside. He said there's over a million. You know, so if somebody's going to begin with a lie, they're going to continue with a lie. The two big things is the student loan debt, like you said, and gun safety, well, gun control. Because one, the student loan debt, because I get that it's has to be ran a certain way for funding and things like that. But then again, like a lot of students want to go, but they can't because the money is in the way. And in terms of safety, I definitely say gun safety because in terms of crime and public safety for young voters, most of the young ones are just in the ending stages of high school or about to leave high school. So when it comes to like the safety and stuff, what I can say is like, it's been an increasing amount of like, uh, of disruptions during like the school day where students will have to, I wouldn't say fear for their lives, but it, it's not an ideal environment that a lot would want to be in. So I think that those are the two main important things like for me.